The oxygen sensors connections are in the rear of the car behind the motor mounts. There are two for each side, red arrows. If you have an S, you will need to move the changeover valve by pressing down on the tab, red arrow, and sliding it out of the way. The two sensors on each side have different wiring colors and connections. You cannot mix them up, but if you are worried and replacing both, change them one at a time. The pre-cat sensor, red arrow, has a blue cable and the other is black, yellow arrow. I have removed the air box for photographic purposes. You do not need to. If you would like to, to give yourself more room to work, please follow the link provided at the end of this video if you need additional assistance with that task. The wiring connections can be removed from their holders by releasing the small plastic tabs, red arrows, and then separate the connection by squeezing in the tabs and pulling them apart. Follow each cable down to the sensors. If you need more room, you can do a partial engine drop. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with a partial engine drop. The pre-cat sensor, red arrow, is easy to change without removing any components. The post-cat, yellow arrow, I highly recommend removing the bumper cover and mufflers. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video if you need help with that task. With everything removed, you can see how easy access is to both sensors. Use a 22 millimeter crow foot socket or wrench and remove the sensor. They can get quite corroded over time and it may take some force to break them free. If you spray them with penetrating oil, make sure that you don't overdo it and get it inside the cat. Count how many turns it takes to remove the old sensor and when installing the new sensor, pre-twist the cable that many turns. That way the cable will not bind while you install them. There will be a small amount of anti-seize on the threads of the new sensor, red arrow, showing the area it will be. Do not get this onto the end of the sensor when installing. Installation is the reverse of removal. Torque the sensors to 50 newton meters or 37 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.